We are at uh, South Burlington Middle School. Um, this is the first location we've come to today um, on Town Meeting Day 2020 Exit Voices. Um, and we're going to try to get some interviews of people who came out to vote and uh, see what's what. I'm against the school band. And the reason is because there's only 7,500 um, homes in South Burlington. It's a very small city. And they expect that if this were to pass, the two buildings that aren't in bad shape would um, be totally demolished. Two new buildings would be put up. It would cost $345 million in order for taxpayers to take on that burden for the next 32 years. And I'm against that. There, it's going to be, people are going to be moving out of the city. They won't be able to, to take the increase on, the, on this um, taxpayer bond. The school bond that we're putting up for a vote today is the result of years of work, both on the part of the school board, a lot of the community members that helped uh, do that work, and we really believe that it is the right way forward for our middle and high schools. Both of them have significant infrastructure needs. Um, neither of them have been significantly updated in terms of the, the support for the educational model that we're trying to implement in those schools in the 60 years that they've been standing, and it's really time for us to do something about both of those issues. One of the positive things about that budget is that we have growing enrollment and so we are adding some staff to take care of that growing enrollment, especially at the elementary level. Um, so there are exciting things afoot at the district. Um, unfortunately, it means a big budget and a big bond. It would be great to have a new school and to have that for the kids, but it's just too much of a wait for the um, taxpayers to, to, to take all that cost. So I'm just not, I'm opposing it. I'm not in favor of it. I'm actually on the school board. So, uh, I, so I, I voted to put this bond in front of the community. It's what it's what our uh, our teachers, administrators, experts all said was necessary for uh, the next 50 plus years of the education. Uh, we understand it came a, comes at a very high price tag, but really felt we needed to put this before the community to, for them to weigh in and, and let us know uh, if, if it's worth it. So, so as a realtor, I know what happens when um, taxes increase substantially and I fear that it's going to create a, a glut of homes on the market, driving home values down. If we think rationally about it, um, interest rates, rates are at a historic low. I think that if we um, get started now, we'll have a better chance of saving money in the long run. In 10 years from now, we will definitely have to replace our high school and our middle school buildings, and I think we ought to get going on it now. I give my vote to Trump. Make sure that, uh, make sure uh, enough people actually uh, say it because um, uh, when you look at every little thing, whether it happens to be um, American, you know, our, our freedom, our prosperity, um, the environment, um, it's just amazing, um, you know, this is the right person to have there. So I'm going to make sure that my vote also is said on that as well. Uh, today I'm just looking at the presidential election, looking to vote for Bernie, so kind of going from there. Um, really it's just about bringing the community together, making sure that, you know, that we're getting what we need as far as, you know, safety, programming, all that stuff going on. So just here to do my part. Uh, well, I think it's necessary to beat Donald Trump. I think the best bet is Joe Biden. I'm sympathetic to anybody whose heart goes to Bernie in Vermont. I think that's fine. We're not going to have much impact anyway but it's Biden who needs to be the nominee. And I'm just here to support Bernie today. Um, I'm a South Burlington resident, um, but um, I also um, hope that to see you at the rally tonight. <laughs> yeah, show up at the rally. I'm sorry that uh, my two favorites, Pete Buttigieg and, and Amy Klobuchar, declined to uh, leave, so now I'm, now I'm leaning towards Bernie. I always vote. I think it's uh, if you don't vote, you don't have any right to uh, complain about the process.